In this video, we are going to discuss the second model of problems on jet transform. So, here you can observe the problem, find the jet transform of the sequence x of n is equivalent to a power minus n u of minus n minus 1. So, this is second model of your usage of jet transform equation. In previous model, you deal with sequence uh, with samples like x of n equal to 5, 2, 3, 1 like that. If you are given with samples like that, you are having a procedure like just substitution. So, for example, if they given like this, that means they given some signal description a power minus n into u of minus n minus 1 is a signal. If they given signal like this, if you are asked to find out what is the jet transform, definitely you can use the same equation of jet transform but in different way. You can see that way. So, here the given signal x of n is equal into a power minus n u of minus n minus 1. So, now here I need to find out the jet transform of the signal that means x of z. I want x of z. This x of z equation is equivalent to summation n is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z power minus n. This is the equation for calculating z transform. Here given x of n is this signal. I am going to substitute that signal here. Summation n is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity. In place of x of n, I am substituting u of minus n minus 1 z power minus n. Whenever you saw unit step function either in integration or summation that will limit the limits, that will change the limits. So, now here also we are having a unit step function, this is also going to change the limits of this summation. How it is going to change means according to that unit step function you are going to change. That means wherever the places you are having that unit step function there only you are going to calculate that summation. So, what is the region of this unit step function? Generally your discrete unit step, general discrete unit step starts from 0 and it will keep on extending up to infinity that is from 0 to infinity. Your general unit step discrete unit step is 0 to infinity. This is u of n. Then what is u of minus n? You just forget about this minus 1. I will talk about this later. So, if this is u of n, your u of minus n will be like this. That means 0, 1, minus 1, 2, 3. This is u of minus n. So, u of minus n is always from 0 to minus infinity. So, here u, for u of minus n, you are having a shift. Which shift means? That is a right shift. For example, for any signal x of n, if you are having x of n minus 2, then that is called as right shift. If you are having x of n plus 2, that is called as left shift. But here, for our u of minus n, you are having the right shift. So, that means if you are having minus 1 means you are having right shift. So, your uh, u of minus n minus 1 signal will be like this. This is the signal of u of minus n minus 1. This is from, so here up to 1 only, this is limited. Right side this signal is limited up to 1, but left side keep on decreasing, that means keep on giving 1 up to minus infinity. So, this signal region, the unit step signal region is from minus infinity to 1. So, this will change the limits means summation n is equivalent to minus infinity to 1. Like this it is going to limit. So, minus infinity to 1, this value is equivalent to 1. Now, onwards after changing the limits, no need to write that unit step function. Why? Because in this region, that means from minus infinity to 1, this unit step function value is equivalent to 1. No need to multiply 1 every time. You can neglect that one without writing also no problem, but that effect we need to consider here in summation. 
So, here minus n z power minus n I am not writing u of minus n minus 1 because that value is 1 if you consider that 1 or not considering no problem. So, now here you are having n is equivalent to minus infinity to 1 a power minus n z power minus n. So, this is equivalent to summation n equivalent to minus infinity to 1 a z whole power minus n I am having a z whole power minus n. Here you can follow another procedure if you want to reverse the limits of this summation you need to write down the negative power already negative power is there so you can write the positive power. So you can also write like this n is equal to 1 to infinity if you want to change the limit like this a z whole power minus n whole inverse you need to consider. Now this is equivalent to summation n is equivalent to 1 to infinity a z whole power n. Now we are having equation for summation n equal to 0 to infinity a power n. For this I am having equation n equivalent to 0 to infinity if I am having a power n 1 by 1 minus a I can write. This is a fundamental formula but here I am not having from 0 to infinity, I am having from 1 to infinity. If I want to write like this, if I want to write this as n equal to 0 to infinity a z whole power 0, a z whole power n, this is the meaning I included n is equal to 0 term in this summation which is actually not there. So, is it right? It is not a right whenever I am not including like this. I am writing I included n equal to 0 term but that is actually not there in our process that is why I am separating that I am subtracting that. So, n equal to 0 if I substitute I am going to get a z whole power 0 is equal to 1. If I written like this I can write like this. If I want to write summation n equal to 0 to infinity definitely I need to subtract that whatever the term included in that summation I need to subtract that term otherwise I cannot include here. So now I written like this same thing I written like this I included in summation and subtracted aside and here now I am having equation for this based on this if total term if I consider like a. I can write 1 by 1 minus a z minus 1. So, this is equal to if you done cross multiplication. So, a z by 1 minus a z you will get a z by 1 minus a z will be the z transform of the signal a power minus n u of minus n minus 1. For example, if anyone given you like this what is the z transform of 1 by 3 whole power n u of minus n minus 1. You can take this equation as I am writing once again x of z is equal to a z by z 1 minus a z. This is the transform of a power minus n u of minus n minus 1. If you are having like this, if you given with this signal. You can, you can compare these two signals and you can apply the same formula. That means in A place you are having 1 by 3. So, z by 3 divided by 1 minus z by 3. So, now so z by so 3 minus z you are going to get z by 3 minus z. So, here if you observe so if you 1 minus 1 by 1 minus a z minus 1 means if you cross multiplied you are going to get a z by 1 minus a z in place of a if you substituted 1 by 3 then you will get z by 3 1 minus z by 3. So, I am cross multiplying here 3 minus z by 3 3 3 will get cancelled you are going to get z by 3 minus z as you are z transform of 1 by 3 whole power minus n u of minus n minus 1. For example, if you are having 1 by 2 whole power minus n uh, u of minus n minus 1, then you will get z by 2 minus z. So, like that you are going to deal so many z transforms by using this fundamental equation. 
the derivation for this fundamental equation will be like this the calculation of z transform of this fundamental signal a power minus n u of minus n minus 1 will be a z by 1 minus a z like this way we need to solve so many z transforms using z transform equation.